What's going on guys? It's Jake and we are outside on the patio. I don't know why, I just wanted to be outside. Well anyways guys, we got some new news and this is Beyblade Burst Turbo news and we actually have images for the newly like upcoming Beyblade Burst Turbo Slingshot set. I'm not sure if that's the actual name for it, but we've known that there's going to be a set that has uh, some sort of slingshot ramp thing going on, and that it's also most likely going to include Z Achilles and Wonder Valtric V4. Is that the full name? Wonder Valtric V4? Jeez, that's such a mouthful. And guys, we actually have confirmation of what this set and the bays actually look like, along with the actual box. Now actually, big thanks to Zanky for actually sending these pictures to me. I still have no idea how he got them, but it doesn't really matter. Huge thanks for sending them to me. So let's just get straight into the pictures. First, we're going to look at the box. And as you can see, as you can see, I think the box looks super dope. I think it's easily the best set box that we've seen so far. You know, from the Star Storm Battle Stadium set or whatever to this original Epic Rivals battle set. I think this one's box definitely looks the coolest because I think the 3D renders of Z Achilles and Wonder Valtric just look awesome. They look really, really... Now the whole slingshot gimmick so far is still super kind of in... Nobody really knows too much about it, but on the Entertainment Earth listings, which have now all been removed, I did a video saying now one got removed, but they've all been removed at this point. It is, there is something there that's called Battle Ring Mode, which is for the drivers on the Turbo Bays. And what it looks like, in my opinion, I think that the launchers are going to be able to like click the, um, the drivers in a certain way to make the slingshot or the Battle Ring Mode tips kind of pop out or cover the actual tips. So that's what I thought it's going to be. But it is pretty interesting that if you look at Wonder Valtric right in the middle, the tip looks the same. There is no like battle ring mode look. And if you look at the Achilles, also has a normal tip. So it's kind of interesting that they showed off the regular tips over the battle ring mode tips, which is probably a good choice so that the drivers don't look the same, but still we don't really have a better look at what this battle ring mode drivers necessarily means. But it's it still looks Dope. It still looks really, really cool. So now we're going to look at the picture of just the set, the launchers, and the Beyblades by themselves. And these bays are anime accurate, which is, you know, kind of what I expected. And I say that because the starters for Wonder Valtric and Z Achilles have like a weird recolor. I think they look cool, but they definitely do not look like they do in the anime. But the set has the anime accurate colors. And it has the new green slingshot launchers, which I still know nothing about. And I'm really interested to see how it is. And they look bigger. They look like they're bigger launchers, which I'm all for. But uh, we'll see if they're better than Switch Strike launchers, though. But guys, what do you think about the set? I think it looks really, really cool. But Slingshock is Turbo's Switch Strike. So it's kind of, that's the whole gimmick for the series, but if you look at the actual stadium, the stadium is just kind of has some ramps on it. Maybe there's some secret like feature that I don't know about, but I doubt it. Overall, it just kind of looks like you would launch your bay at like the corners or something, and then they would go like boom, and then they would hit each other. I don't know. It's definitely not as like extreme as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be like a really big battle tower-esque kind of stadium. Maybe a little bit more simple, but you know what I mean. It has like all uh, pieces of plastic and ramps and accessories. That's what I thought it'd be, but this looks like a regular stadium with some ramps on it. So that's either a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not really sure yet. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this bit of news. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button. And tell me, do you guys want me to go outside more? I like going outside. It's fun. It's a little hot, but it's fun, so we'll just have to see. But I'll see you guys next time. Have fun, and bay away.